inside the Majid Al Moor Mosque at 1.40 this afternoon when a gunman went in and started shooting. New Zealand police say they are hunting an active shooter in the centre of Christchurch this afternoon. Uh, there are many casualties and several reports of fatalities as well. Anna Byrne Francis is a reporter with TV New Zealand and joins us now from Auckland. What's the latest you're hearing, Anna? Well, Lorna, this is very much a developing situation in Christchurch. Christchurch Hospital has now actually activated its emergency response plan, so it's asking any visitors or anyone in the area to stay away from the hospital. It's been more than 90 minutes now since the first reported shootings at the mosque, and yet there are still ambulances pulling up with a steady stream of victims. Armed police are on standby, security has increased at the hospital, and there's really no knowing how the rest of the situation will unfold this afternoon. As you see, Police are still on the hunt for at least one gunman, but there were reports of at least two gunmen. And there's also some suggestion that there has been a video posted, a live stream video of the attack as well. Um, several schools, Anna, are in shutdown, as we've been reporting, but also uh, Christchurch will have had, as many cities there and here in Australia, the climate change march. Absolutely. So very concerning for parents today. There was a nationwide rally for ch school children today to attend that climate change rally in Cathedral Square. The square has now been cleared. All schools are on lockdown. So too are public buildings like the art gallery this afternoon. And they're all remaining on lockdown with no word of when they may be lifted, likely because we still don't know just how many gunmen are out there and when they will be found. So just word from the police that they consider this an active situation. Any word uh, from the mayor, from the authorities there yet? Everybody's responding with in this emergency situation as they can get information. So it's coming in drips and drabs as we can get a hold of emergency services and other response agencies. At this stage, we're not sure when the next piece of information will come through from the mayor's office. Obviously, their concern is that Christchurch is uh, reasonably has lowered its population in recent years since those earthquakes, and of course, they will be lighter on some services. But it's a big area, a big region, and we'll be able to pull in resources from other smaller towns outlying. Uh, the main city centre because the where these attacks have actually occurred are all within the <coughs> city centre and suburban area. So we know that there was the El Nor attack right near Hagley Park and that's only a few minutes from the hospital. But then there is another scene unfolding at the Linwood Mosque which is a suburb only a few minutes drive from that area. And police have now told us that there are reports of a bomb that's been found inside a grey Subaru legacy on a city centre street. So it's sort of there's a lot of different activities and areas unfolding holding all in one go here. OK, um, right, we'll try and verify some of those reports, Anna. It's a confusing picture this afternoon. Um, you, you're describing the scene for us. So obviously, you, you know the town, the, the area very well. They're quite close by, these two mosques that appear to have been targeted so far, are they? Describe the area for us. They're relatively close by. I mean, it's, it's difficult actually to know a lot about where you are sometimes if you're not from Christchurch since those earthquakes and many of those buildings were taken down as very little place markers. But yes, if it would only be sort of a 10, 15 minute drive at the most really between the two areas. But there are reports differing between there being two gunmen at the first mosque and then only one gunman being seen walking into the second mosque. Witnesses have described seeing those gunmen uh, dressed in heavy military grade type helmets. They were carrying machine gun type type guns and then of course the mosque being full at the time everybody has tried to escape and unfortunately not everybody has managed to make it out of this attack alive. Reporters that you've got um, there for TV and Z on the scene speaking to many witnesses obviously there is going to be a panic in an environment like this but those that have come out and are, are emerging into this beautiful park do seem quite calm. They do, and that's probably the most difficult thing to imagine what these people must be going through, a time of reflection and prayer in the afternoon. It's beautiful weather here in New Zealand, a sunny afternoon. Uh, the mosque was had between varying numbers. We're getting reports of up to as many 500 people in there at the time. And at first, many thought that it was children playing a game. They weren't quite sure what had caused the noise uh, of what then turned out to be the gunfire. So once they did realise, they were able, many were able to escape 
outer back wall, out the back of the mosque and into the park. The Bangladeshi cricket team in the park at the time also heard the gunshots and made a run for it from their training session. But now, with that area in lockdown, there are many people trying to find out where their loved ones are, where their family and friends are and what they do from here. We're hearing that the Prime Minister will make an address to the nation. Uh, initially, she had said that, that would be at 2 o'clock our time um, here in Sydney, so that's only 15 minutes' time. One wonders whether she might have to uh, postpone that for some time if there is another attack at a second mosque, if indeed there is a, an active shooter on the loose and the police haven't got this situation under control. Absolutely, that will be one of the factors that come into consideration there. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern was actually in Taranaki today, which is a um, very small um, town, almost city in New Zealand, relatively isolated. So there was some discussion that she would come back to Auckland. That's her base. That's where she lives when she's not in Wellington for Parliament sitting, uh, so that she could be briefed in Auckland and run things from here. But that situation seems to have changed, perhaps on some information that she's received. And we understand that she will now hold that briefing in Taranaki today, sometime this afternoon, but we expect that will be delayed. Okay, Anna, we appreciate your time. Anna Burns-Francis there at TVNZ. Thank you very much for that. Uh, the images showing many, many people being rushed to hospital in the city of Christchurch and the media there saying a shooting has occurred at a second mosque in Christchurch. No further details of that. The police making arrests in this footage and earlier on, an hour or so ago, police urging people to stay indoors as they responded to that shooting at the Majid al-Nur mosque in Christchurch.